We are here in Elspec. Uh, Alex is my boss and he personally helped me to build my rig. Uh, we go with Sim Magic. We talk with them, we decide it's the best brand uh, we can go. And plus they support Formula Drift. So we support Formula Drift. We are part of Formula Drift. After a hard work day, after we finished all the cars, Alex and um, Chris from Sim Magic, they decide what they want to do with the PC and what's the best we can do with a kind of low budget I have right now. So I'm gonna show you what we have done and uh, how Alex is gonna put everything together for me. I put the goggles and for me it was a little bit dizzy. I'm gonna go back to the goggles and try to make it work, but probably that's gonna happen later. Uh, but right now I'm going with three uh, screens. Let me show you what we're gonna do. Ta-da! Here we go. It's all the stuff. How are you doing, Alex? You good? Uh, I'm super exciting, super pumped about that. I don't know what is anything about this. I know this is the case and I know this is the monitors, but Alex knows he gonna teach us or tell me why we go with this stuff and what is all that boxes. So where are we gonna start? So basically we got the uh, brain of the computer, which is the CPU. The reason why we went with this is a Ryzen 7 5800X. So this is actually able to be, uh, basically this is a CPU you can boost. So you can actually raise the boost level, I guess. Okay. So if it was a normal e CPU, we could just run it normally, but this one we can actually boost up. And the reason why we're able to boost it up is I got a uh, water cooler for it. So if we need to really make this thing really sing and go really fast, we have special water cooling just for the CPU. Of course, wait, 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 I have a question before you go on to the next one. When you say boost, what do you mean? More PSI? <laughs> well, that's easier to explain it because uh, normally these run at a certain megahertz. You can think of megahertz as PSI, like an engine. Okay. So normally most CPUs, you have to run them at stock. And if you go over, they break. Oh. But this one is unlocked. So because it's unlocked, we can go in the background and we can raise the PSI or raise the megahertz to almost double. Wow. So if we wanna make it, we don't really need to because that's already really overkill for what you're using the computer for. But if we needed this computer to be 10 times faster, it's literally a five second modification. And you can only do that if you have the cooling. Good have, cooling system, right? Yeah. Like we say, we have a good intercooler. <laughs> yeah. So, so the thing is, if you run this factory with a normal cooler, it's fine, but as soon as you raise it with a normal cooler, it'll overheat. Overheat. It'll melt. it'll melt it. Wow, okay. So that, that cools it down. Makes sense. This is the motherboard. This is basically just the uh, the wiring harness, I guess. That's what connects everything. Um, the key point that makes this computer really fast is we got an NVMe hard drive for your boot system. So this will actually make your computer completely start up and load and ready to game in like one or two seconds. Okay. So this, this makes it fast, and then we got extra storage. We got a normal SSD. That's if you wanna have extra storage on your computer. Uh, this is probably the most important thing for you because your gaming rig. We went with the uh, NVIDIA just because it's the most popular graphics card. Okay. Um, I like AMD. Uh, AMD is a little bit better in my opinion, but uh, right now NVIDIA seems to be killing it in the graphics. We got a 3070 because you're using a set of Corsa, and a set of Corsa is kind of outdated. So we really don't need a crazy graphics card. Uh, we could go crazy like a 4090, uh, but a 4090, the graphics card by itself is nearly $2,000. So we got this one at a really great price. This is already, in my opinion, overkill for what this computer is gonna be used for. Like, I think this is probably twice as much as what you need. So keep that in mind. If you're watching this video, you don't need this for what, for a sim rig. This is big time overkill. Cool. Um, this is the power supply. This is exactly what it is. This is what gives power to everything. Um, the most important thing, what I'll say about here is the rating. So every power supply has a rating. So basically that is a standardized among the industry. This is a gold rated. You can get as high as platinum rated. So this is the second tier. Platinum rated is more for people that are stressed about losing their data. So if this was a server or something like that, or a game server, you'd want to get higher. But gold is even overkill. I would tell most people just get bronze, but this was found at a really great price. And uh, what is this one? 
Oh, and this is the memory. This is just, this is the working space. Okay. So the less of this you have, the longer it'll take for something to happen in the computer. So if you're like loading a level and you have little of this, the level is gonna take a long time to load. Uh, the more of this you have, the more workspace you have. So we got 32 gigabytes, which is pretty good for what this computer is gonna be used for. We can go as high as 128, but again, that's only important if this was used as like a server or something that Margarita's is not gonna use it for. So. <laughs> um, we got wire, I'm not a big fan of this. We got wireless keyboard and mouse, just because it's a sim rig and he's not really gonna be using this for like actual video gaming. Um, I would recommend everyone not to do this if you're going to use this computer for normal video gaming. But if you're just using it for sim rig, obviously you want Bluetooth so you can just be using the computer anywhere in your living room. And I don't like wiring in the roads and in, yeah, my, in my space. I will, I will tell you. On zip tight everything. Yeah, but if you were normal video yes. gaming, this would be horrible and it would cause you to lose over and over. Copy that. That's why we choose this one. That's why the sim magic is wired. It's not wireless. Okay. And then we have the monitors. There's uh, the very specific thing about these monitors is they have a low latency. Latency is how long it takes to send the picture to the computer and back and forth. So a normal screen will have anywhere between like four milliseconds to 10 milliseconds on a normal screen. This one has one millisecond. And that's really important because we're trying to simulate reality. Um, and then also I believe this has free sync. So it, it matches up with the graphics card. So all this means to you, you don't really have to understand what I'm saying. All you need to understand is when you steer the wheel in the game, the, the video game will react instantaneously. So if you had a lag here, what would happen is you turn the wheel and then you wouldn't quite make it, but your brain would realize there's a lag. So if you're trying to get used to reality and your screen is laggy, what's gonna happen is if you get used to it in the, in the video game, like practicing New Jersey over and over and over again, your brain programs itself for that four millisecond lag. Then you go to reality and all your inputs are now four milliseconds behind. And then you're understanding like, why am I missing the zones? Why am I not in the zones? Because your brain's been programmed for that lag. So the reason you have done that, it's to have better reality in the game, if I understand correct. And what I ask you is I wanna build to one computer to have us closer on the reality on the track I have and the way you go with these monitors, it was because of that. Yeah, exactly. Copy that. Okay, I have a question. I think you go through everything, right? Except the box, which yes. it's, it's a box. It's a cool box. It's a cool box <laughs> with colors and fancy. So um, how you know all of that? I know you build cars and I know you're a good driver and you drive a Mustang. How you know everything about computers? That's... I was actually a computer nerd before I was into cars. Do you play games? Yeah, I've been a video game. I actually started programming when I was like 12. So you know how to write code? Yeah, I made my own video game when I was like 11. Oh, wow, okay. So that was my first hobby before cars. So I, my car hobby didn't hit till I was 14. This is fascinating because I know how passionate you are with cars to know like you know about computers because I don't know any of this. So thanks for the help. If you guys need anything, ask Alex, DM me if you don't have his information. What's your Instagram? Uh, Alex Drift 998. Alex Drift. So you can, guys, most of you, you know him, but if, in case you don't know him and you're under the rock, uh, you can hit me up and I can give you his information. Thank you, buddy. Let's do it. That's the case. And you tell me you're going to change some funds and stuff. Yeah, okay, we're going to do that later. Yep. Right now, what we're going to do is we're going to install the motherboard. Sorry, let me try to close the door. It's noisy. So this is a motherboard. This is where everything clips into. You want to make sure, you know, actually stop. Can you tell me the fucking internet's going to be like, oh, he's touching you with the greasy hands. I have that. <laughs> I have that in camera. <laughs> okay, so the doctor, <laughs> my, my helper, doctor. <laughs> I'm the real doctor. <laughs> so we have here is the motherboard. This is, looks so fancy. So you don't really want to touch all the diodes because you can bend these clips. And... So what are you doing? Just taking out the fans so we can fit that test fit the uh, 
water cooler to see, make sure it doesn't have any clearance issues. Hmm. Clearance issues everywhere. Not that dissimilar to a car. <laughs> the intercooler, right? Yeah, it, 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 well, it's, it's, it's more not, like a radiator. It's not going on the radiator mounts and we need to modify it. You know, if we want to be crazy, we could actually put a mini speaker in here and we could actually, I've, I've actually done this before for a friend. We could put a mini speaker in here and when we overclock it, it could actually spool up like a turbo and make turbo noises. Wow. Uh, no. <laughs> That's too much. I'm going to be with my goggles and practicing. I don't care about that stuff. I want it to look cool, but I'm not, you know. Not that cool. Not like you. You want to be very no, cool. No, my, my, I don't have time. That's my problem. If I had the time, I'd make mine do that. Just don't scratch anything. <laughs> yeah, see, it's got form factors, so it's going to fit this. Perfect. Yeah, he have his own screws, right? Yeah. Okay. And the fans, they're going from outside or? No, inside. So it, it um, this blows, these fans go this way, these fans go in, and this fan goes out. Mm. I always forget this. This is like the most forgotten thing on planet Earth. Was that a flex capacitor? No. no it's just a little, the like chassis cover. Blade or something. To stop dust from getting in. Okay, I'm going to open the screen so Alex can set up the rest of the stuff when it's done. You install now, the motherboard. Motherboard's installed. Now here is the smallest and most important part of your computer. This is the brain. This is called the central processing unit. And we're going to install it right now. Hmm. And this is probably a good thing to see because a lot of people get confused with this because it looks kind of confusing, but it isn't. So you have all these, you have uh, like probably like a thousand pins here. If you want to check to see if any of them are bent, because if even one of them is even slightly bent, your, EC, your, your computer won't run. So it's also very careful that you, you have to be super careful. How you know which side's going in? That's what I was going to say. So there is a little mark right there, right there in the tit on the corner, and then right there. And if I am correct, <laughs> if you're not correct, how much that's gonna cost? Uh, it won't. It won't. It won't plug in. So if I'm not correct, it won't even snap in. <clears throat> and the fact that it just went straight in tells me that was correct. So there's a mark right there. Yeah. There's a mark right there in the motherboard. <clears throat> it is plugged in already. Mm -hmm. And it's... then what you do, you have to lift this up first. And then what you do is you snap that in. And what it does, is it pressurizes all the needles. What it does, is it's a metal thing and it just comes contact and puts pressure on them. Oh, so he's locking all of them. Mm -hmm. So this thing is not fail. Mm -hmm. So when you install all of that, you make sure all of that's gonna be lined up, mm -hmm. right? And after you put all the screws, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which is these small screws. Sorry, mm -hmm. I don't touch it. Yeah. Where is this battery? Uh, that is the CMOS battery. So that is, you know how with newer cars, you disconnect the battery and you'll have like a check engine light and then you'll put the battery back on. The check engine light will still be there. Okay. Because the ECU has its own little battery. Mm -hmm. That's what that for is. That's to keep your what's called BIOS alive. So there's, an, there's a bunch of internal memory on this board itself. And that basically keeps it alive. Now, <clears throat> we need to change that. Good. That, that is the thank you for asking. And how so often? So sometimes, no. So if, if these usually take, I believe like 20 or 30 years to go bad, I think. <laughs> okay. It's very long. I've only done one maybe every 15 years. What? If you're using it a lot. Okay. Because okay. these aren't really used that much. Like the draw on them is super low. However, if this motherboard was old and it'd been sitting in a storage house for 15 years, this has happened before. Sometimes you go to start your computer on, your computer won't start up at all. And it's because- This battery, battery gets bad, right? Yeah, but it's a $6 battery. So if you ever have an issue where everything's plugged in correctly, you go to start the computer up and then the computer doesn't turn on, the easiest 
thing to check is just put a new 2032 CR battery in here. And if the computer starts up, then you know it's right. So, but usually that only happens if this motherboard is super old. So if this motherboard was like a decade old, which it is, and I think this motherboard is only like four years old. Okay, so the computer to start on the begin, he need this 12 volt battery to start or six volt, how many volt is this oh. battery? 12, so three, he, volt. Three, three volt. So he need this three volt battery to start, not the 110? 110, oh, oh yeah, no, so. Uh, no, so no, no, this is just keep alive memory. This is only just there to when, save memory. When they don't have power, when it's, when un it doesn't where have it's power. unplugged. Uh, yeah. But at the time it's unplugged, this yeah, one is not. Yeah, it doesn't get used. You got, okay, I got it, okay, so cool. This only gets used when you unplug it. Thank you, okay. <clears throat> what is this small thing? It's just, just a sticker so you can show everyone what you have inside the car. <laughs> Just like when you buy a suspension and you get a bill sticker. You put a fuel suspension sticker, right? Like this one over here. Because we always have handy one Hello, feel, you? right? <laughs> okay, I'm going to move on the screen to set up the screen. Okay. So this is the secret sauce. Maybe we should don't say that. 